What's up everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new episode of Crash of the Titans on my YouTube channel. This is the Jerry Plays for the series that I decided to do on my channel because I was bored. But yo, in the last episode, we took care of episodes 2 and 3. Episode 2 was incredibly short, so we ended it off smoothly with episode 3. And now we're heading on to episode 4 where things get a bit more interesting and we can do more things. Even though we already have everything. So that's not really an issue or something we have to really be concerned for. So, essentially, we can just dash through this shit. Ayo, hey, uh, I also just want to mention something, like, or ask something rather. Like, can, can we just, like, kind of, like, like, I know Crash Bandicoot is based off in, like, uh, you know, an Australian animal. You know, a bandicoot. An Australian species or whatever, but, like... Can we just confirm that he's black because of the introduction? I mean, Cortex tried to make him his slave, but, like, he was like, nah, fuck that. So he just hit him in his head, and then uh, he ran off, and now he's a rebel. You, you know, I, th I think it's just funny. I think it's just funny. Obviously, it doesn't need to be thought to that degree <laughs> at all. It's a fucking Crash Bandicoot game. But I just think that it's funny, nonetheless. Uh, once we get down here, or in the middle one, I believe, or the green one, because we go to the right, or the left and right, then the middle thing... Uh, we'll be able to use Akuaku as a slide, but since we already have them, you know, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we have to go through it anyway in order for people to get familiar with uh, how the game controls and shit, and pretty much like how the game uh, plays overall. All right, let's take care of these guys. These guys are—they they, can—they can be annoying, but they're relatively. Fucking, they're, they're easy. They're easy. I'm recording this at 8 in the morning, so I really apologize if the commentary is like hella off. But I do want to try to uh, finish two episodes in this episode. And this is what? Episode 3 of the actual series on my channel. But we're on episode 4 in the actual game. So it might get confusing to some. Uh, but, you know, if they watch it, if they watch this, then they'll get a clear understanding of what's going on and shit like that. So let's get this spike, destroy the wall, and then we'll be able to get the snipe that will that will soon appear to hit those targets on the right and left. All right, there we go. They're hitting my boy Spike right now, and their snipe. There's actually a little bug in this uh, level stage thing. We're pretty much... Um, oh, fuck. Damn. We're pretty much snipe doesn't want to hit... Like, the target on the left? Or the right? Jeez, I don't even know my rights and lefts anymore. But, yeah, it's a little weird thing. Like, okay, never mind. It's actually for both of them. Oh, wow, that has never, ever happened until today. I swear to God, that has never happened in my life. Snipe was never, ever able to hit both of them that fast before. That's crazy. Oh shit, okay, so this is where you actually learn how to uh, ride Aku Aku, but we already know, so let's just get on the road. Oh my god, this music sounds fucking amazing. Dude, I really hope they kind of reintroduce this in the Crash Bandicoot series if they ever do a new game. Seriously. It'd be really cool. Also, there's something that I want to address. Like, as I'm playing through this game, man. Alright. So, there was actually... Uh, one of my... I'll call him a friend. He's a good homie. He's a great supporter of my channel. His name is J Bills Games. Um, pretty much, he posted a statement on Instagram on why he thinks Crash Bandicoot should not get any more remasters and whatnot and stuff like that. Uh, but, like... Um, yeah, yeah, so he pretty much posted on Instagram on how, like, in a comment section on why Crash Bandicoot shouldn't get any more remasters and how we should be getting original content because the Insane Trilogy is enough and yada, 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 you know, pretty much the same viewpoint that I have, essentially. Uh, someone went out of there, took the time out of their day to tell him to, well, KYS, if you do not know what that acronym stands for, it stands for, it's an, it's an abbreviation for Kill Yourself, which is, you know, obviously not a rational statement for someone to make to another person over a video game and all I could really say honestly is that I, I think I, I think what people and what I think my boy Jay here uh, Jay Bills games and a lot of you need like not a lot of you saying like oh you know you guys are the um 
suspects of doing shit like this. I'm just speaking in general. But what a lot of people I think need to realize is that, you know, these are video games, these are just media, these are like, you know, they're just entertainment at the end of the day. And it's for people to enjoy. Uh, but to, to simply tell someone to off themselves over an opinion over a video game franchise is, a, is, is not even a bit extreme. It's incredibly extreme. And it just kind of shows, you know, even though that person was not, is not a representation of the entire Crash Bandicoot community or anything like that, I just, oh shit, I just think that it's, it, it puts a bad look on the series, and, and with the Insane Trilogy being a success, I don't know why people are even arguing in the first place, because with the Insane Trilogy success, even as much as I don't even want it, they can remake, more, yes, they can remake or remaster more Crash Bandicoot games, but at the same time, they can also use those resources that they've gathered, you know, from the, they can use the funds to, uh, essentially pull new resources, get new resources to create new projects and have new ideas, new creative ideas so the series doesn't run dry. I feel like what Crash Bandicoot kind of needs to do is to satisfy both of the audiences so both of them can shut the F up, essentially. But yo, we got a cutscene coming up, so I'm gonna shut my mouth. Uh, after we slide down here. Crash, you gullible fool! You walked right into my trap! Now I'll have you and the mojo! Cortez, why do you keep doing stuff like this? Well, actually, it's pretty fun. You should try it. You know, riding around in huge rumbling machines and whatnot. Very stimulating. Okay. Uka Uka taught me a new process called Mojo Mutations. I will use the stolen Mojo to create a huge army of loyal mutants. Not rejects like you guys. You jerk. But best of all, I will use this army to construct a mighty robot. The largest doomsday device I've ever built. I will smash Wumpa Island, then take over the world. And I shall call this robot... The Dominator. Yeah, yeah. That name sucks. Cortex. Deal with Crash and my pathetic brother. I will take the Mojo and Bandicoot female back to our base. Alright, so essentially we have to fucking get this octopus titan guy. I forgot his name. I will look at his name once we uh, get him. Once we jack him. But that shit's not going to be easy. But yeah, essentially what I was getting at with my argument or point is that I really... Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I really honestly feel like... Um, now, I don't think Crash Bandicoot needs just remasters to cater to one audience because that wouldn't really benefit the series' community as a whole because there's a small percentage that does want a new game but a lot of the majority casual or you know people that just like to you know just that just care about nostalgia a lot and i say that in the most let, like none in ignorant way possible but you know those people as long with the casuals pretty much they out they out voice if that makes any sense they out voice the minority that wants a new game that wants to see the crash bandicoot series you know do different things as it did before and you know what i think is a great example of that is the sonic the hedgehog series now a lot of people don't like sonic unleashed or anything like that i mentioned this in the video or two before but while a lot of while, while people don't like a lot of the different moves that sonic the hedgehog has made or anything you know i think that at the end of the day, it does show how creative people can get, creative and ambitious developers and or publishers can get, uh, oh my god, what their games essentially is what I'm getting at, so, yeah, if Mario and Sonic can be creative, then so can Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> you think you've won, you furry simpleton? Well, Uka Uka got away with the mojo and your sister. You'll never find them in time. 
the next time you see me crash, I'll be controlling a world conquering robot. <laughs> Oh, I'd love to laugh. Come on, Crash. We're gonna get Coco back. Crash, we must stop them. We have to follow Cortex and find out where they've taken Coco. Oh, him, yeah. I'll leave him here, I guess. He seems okay. <laughs> That was ridiculous and appalling. You failed to destroy Crash Bandicoot. I don't see what the big deal is. We got away with the mojo and Crash's sister. I got away with the mojo, and the big deal is that Crash Bandicoot is still alive. Cortex, I'm going to replace you. <laughs> Thank you, Master. <laughs> you can't replace me. My name's on the stationery. <laughs> That's right, tough guy. <laughs> Unless you want to buy on the stationery, you'll respect the master. It's really nice stationery, too. Oh, I know. Glossy. Cortex, you have never been more wrong. Uh, thank you. Uh, what? What do you mean? <laughs> Thank you again! <laughs> Hotter than the first! <laughs> Allow me to announce your replacement, Nina Cortex! Oh, come on! He didn't even have a cop! Take out the trash, girls. Sorry, Uncle, but it's time for some young blood to lead us to victory. And now that we have Coco, we can make her build the robot. You won't get away with this! Crash will come for me and kick your butt! Oh, I hope Crash tries. I really do. After all, I need a new fur coat. <laughs> get to work on the Doominator! Make more mutant soldiers! I want Wumpa Island smashed flat! Your hair is dumb! Oh, shut her up. All right, man, that was a pretty long cutscene. What I really enjoy about this game is that crap. Like, what I enjoy about Crash, blah, 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 blah. what I enjoy about Crash Bandicoot Six, which is this game. Uh, you know, what I really enjoy about Titans and appreciate about Titans is that everybody is extremely expressive, especially Crash Bandicoot himself. He has a lot more life to him rather than that creepy, stiff-ass smile that he had in the predecessor. Uh, you know, Crash to Insanity or anything. That's not to diss the game or anything like that. It's just like. There's a lot more life put into this game, and notice how Cortex had a big role in Crash to Insanity, and now his niece has a big role in Crash of the Titans. Even though Nina did have some spotlight in Twin Sanity, she truly shines here, I feel, which is something that I really like. But yo, we're gonna do episode six just because I. I mean, five. What the fuck, my dumbass. Just because I want to get this episode out of the way. Did it? Bro, did he just say bitches? Yo, I don't even know if you... Yo, did you just burp on me, nigga? Goodbye. I thought you just said something about bitches, but whatever. Here we go. One of the best parts in this game right here. Listen to this music, dude. I sincerely hope that they truly like, bring this shit back in the next Crash game, but I really feel like they won't. Not because of remasters or anything like that. It's just... I don't know. I feel like if you really want to bring a series back... Uh, and it's complete former, like, not former, but it's complete full glory, the best way possible, I think you have to look at every single resource and not limit yourself to things that's just from the past, essentially. Got some sweet concept art, so we don't gotta go back and worry about that later. There's actually official artwork of Crash, like, sliding down this exact, uh, slope, or, I don't know, I don't know, I don't wanna call it a hill, but pretty sure you guys might know what it is better than my dumbass. But yeah, there's like art of Crash sliding on Aku Aku, and it's really sweet. Maybe I'll have it on screen, maybe I won't, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I just think it's really sweet. Nah, man. I'm chilling. 
I got time for you stupid dudes. Yeet. Big yeet. Alright, that was actually really smooth. Usually I'll fail through that shit sometimes, but I didn't, thankfully. So, we're good. Alright, things are about to get pretty, uh, kinda intense over here, so, uh... I mean, not with this cutscene with these two guys up here talking and shit, but... Once, we, once we're down here at the area that they're showing off right now, we're gonna see a really dope-ass titan. Alright. I just love how lively and... Oh my god. All right, let's just beat these niggas' asses. <laughs> we let them talk long enough. Goodbye, fam. All right, now let's head downwards. We should be Gucci. Game stuttered for a bit, but we're good. Yo, you're not gonna, you're not finna burp on me. Could've swear I saw somewhere recently that stated that. Wumpa fruit weren't in here, even though it clearly is. It's so weird. I don't know. And I don't know what's been going on, but there's been like a little, little late trend. There's lately been a trend of, uh... Well, let's just say people bashing this game. As if it came out yesterday. Even though it didn't. And it's 11 years old. Dude, Crash's tattoos look really dope on this Titan. Holy shit. Also, I never got to look at the name for the other Titan that we were on in the last episode. But right now, we're on the Rhino Roller. And this thing's pretty cool. The only problem is that it goes way, not way too fast, but it goes, I I'd say, at a healthy speed, to be honest. It's just that once we get near these fucking blades, it, it becomes, oh my god, like right now, it gets pretty uh, risky because he'll start to like stutter and he gets stuck. So you don't want to do that if you ever if you never played this game. Once you get to episode five, uh, be careful when you're on the Rhino Roller because this dude will get stuck, like right now, getting smacked up by the blade, and it just will not be good. So definitely be considerate of when you're moving forward. I, I, I can't say where you're going, but you know, well, cause you know, <laughs> this isn't an open world Crash Bandicoot game like Modern Bermuda. Oh my god. Oh, we can't have... Oh my god. I mean... Oh, you know what? What I actually like about this level is that, like... Even if we lose the Rhino Roller, we can still use Aqua Aqua to slide downwards, but... Trust me, this thing makes it a lot easier to get by. You do not want him to die. So you gotta be super careful. Also, I don't think these things hurt him. These little bomb things, so we're straight. First I thought they did, but they don't. So, we're good. Plus, we kind of need this dude for, like, way later down here. So, we can release him right here. And get more mojo. Alright. Alright, we're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He oh! Bruh! Whew! Bruh! Nigga, what was that? Bro, that was the weirdest glitch I've ever seen in this game, fam. We didn't even fall down. What the fuck? It happened again? Bruh. Yeah, I think if this game came out in 2008, it'd be, like, much better. Like, a lot better. I mean, this is, like, minor shit, of course, but still. It's like, bruh, what the fuck? We need more acceleration. Oh, that was close. God damn it. And 
that is the end of episode 5, The Emerald Pity, and that will be the end of this episode for Crash of the Titans. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in uh, episode 4. We finished 5 episodes so far. We have 15 left to go. I don't think this series will last as long as I actually thought it would, which is good, because I don't like super long series on YouTube and shit. Oh my god, some of these episodes will be bitches. I'm just telling you now, so... Yeah, this this is this is gonna be pretty annoying. But we're done with episode five and four. I appreciate everyone sticking around, listening to what I had to say about certain things, and you know, let me know if you want me to have a certain topic to talk about in the next episode. So you know, it won't be bone dry commentary and shit, because I try to make it as interesting, uh, as interesting as interesting as possible. So you know, any feedback is appreciated. As long as you're not trying to be some douche or whatever. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. And we will take on episode 6 and maybe 7. Shit, maybe 8. It really depends just on how short and how long these episodes are. But we will be taking care of episode 6. And it is kind of likely we'll ta tackle 7 as well. But episode 6, most definitely. Stay tuned for it. And I will see you guys in the next upload whenever, if ever. Peace.